to the state of education now. Nine school districts in Erie County's Orange Zone will return to hybrid learning on Monday. They include Amherst, Clarence, Cleveland Hill, East Aurora, and Hamburg, along with Lancaster, Orchard Park, Tonawanda, and Williamsville. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui walks us through what these districts are going to get students and teachers back into class. Don't feel now is a good time to send them back. Brandy Somerville's son Brogan is a first grader at Hamburg's Boston Valley Elementary School. He's been remote since before Thanksgiving when Erie County was elevated to an orange zone. But Brogan is preparing to head back into the classroom. Hamburg school leaders say the district will return to hybrid instruction district wide next week. It's very concerning with the number of cases that they have with the rise in them and I just don't feel safe sending him back right now. Hamburg is one of nine schools choosing to reopen Monday, December 14th. According to the New York State Health Department, those schools will be required to test 20% of in-person students, faculty and staff for COVID-19 for the month of December. Schools will be required to close if their COVID-19 test sampling returns nine or more positive cases or if they reach a 3% or higher positivity rate from a weekly testing sample of more than 300. Schools that fail to comply will have to remain remote and could face fines and penalties. As we hear the growing numbers uh, around the holidays, um, we've taken it to heart. Frontier Central School District in Hamburg is one of a handful of districts choosing to delay reopening until January 4th after winter break. Um, Superintendent Richard uh, Hughes tells me positive cases among staff is, is a major reason why he's choosing to remain remote. We've had more people turn out positive in our in our schools, especially our faculty and staff than anybody else has. Every district has to look at it based on what's going on in their district. And we have a lot of people out right now. Meantime, Hamburg parents like Brandy Somerville hope the district isn't rushing into reopening. Her son's grandfather, who is often a caretaker, is high risk and she worries about his health. He loves going over there and I can't keep him away from him. I just hope that they continue doing what they're doing. All right, well, Allie joins us live tonight from the town of Tonawanda. And Allie, we are expecting additional announcement from schools tomorrow. What are you hearing? Well, Ashley, Sweet Home School District expected to make an announcement this evening after their board meeting. I've also heard that Kenton is expected to make a decision tomorrow. West Seneca is another district that hopes to notify parents tomorrow. Remember, that is one district that has been remote since last school year. So it will be interesting to see how they move forward. Finally, Grand Island and Cheektowaga are two other big school districts that we are still waiting to hear from.